Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, this is something that's actually interesting. I usually don't do pieces about news like this because it's kind of like sensationalist, but this was interesting enough for me to warrant kind of a segment, a short segment nonetheless, but this is the actual, an image of the actual overhead view of the actual volcanic mining rig in El Salvador. Yes, El Salvador's president is actually building. This is full clean energy, green energy, and geothermal power. It's built on top of a freaking volcano. I'm not really sure what happens if the volcano like decides to erupt. You just lose the entire installation worth millions of dollars and years of planning. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I would want to work in a place like this because it is on top of a volcano. But this can easily generate huge megawatts of energy to mine Bitcoin. If Bitcoin price goes up, El Salvador might actually be able to pull itself out of the dump. This is an innovative solution to solve a country's problems, albeit somewhat risky. But declaring Bitcoin legal tender has always been risky, and El Salvador's president is not one to shy away from risk. This is from Crypto Potato. So Naib Bokili shared a video showing what could be El Salvador's first public Bitcoin mining facility powered with electricity from its volcanoes. Geothermal mining, this is like Yellowstone times 10 or times 100. I mean, Yellowstone's a super volcano, don't get me wrong, it's like one of the largest super volcanoes in the world, but obviously it's far from erupting. I'm not really sure about this one. This one's just a normal volcano, maybe able to erupt at any time. So, like the hasty decision to be uh, declare Bitcoin a legal tender obviously has drawn a lot of criticism from the international community, specifically the United States and the IMF. And it's inspired a lot of what I see as fake protests paid for by bankers because, you know, the protesters were shouting bankers lives matter or whatever. Um, and also probably by foreign interests. But he is not backing down. No, 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 no. He is giving them the massive, massive middle finger by buying more Bitcoin at every dip and also taking the first steps to actually build this mining facility on top of a volcano. I personally eventually, I personally actually thought this was a joke. But obviously it's not. Um, he really believes in Bitcoin. And this definitely may pay dividends. Remember, Bitcoin's only at about $42,000 right now, I believe, at the time of this video. And the thing is, like, Bitcoin might be a million dollars in the future. So this particular investment might actually pull El Salvador out of poverty um, and may pull them into the ranks of other first world nations. It's very, very doubtful. But it could definitely happen with the ma massive price appreciation in Bitcoin and if inflation appears everywhere else. So this tweet has been one of the president's most popular posts with more than 28,000 likes, 7.6 thousand retweets, and more than 1,600 comments. So follow him on Twitter. And there's a lot of Bitcoin enthusiasts that are applauding this move. So basically like Peter Schiff's son applauds this move, Peter Schiff doesn't. And the uh, Hogelnut obviously um, approves this move as well as the guy from Kraken. So this is, uh, this is interesting to say the least. This is probably the most creative power plant to mine Bitcoin I've ever seen. Probably the most risky too, because once again, if the volcano like somehow explodes, you're probably a little bit screwed. But like I said, it's it's free energy from the earth. Um, not much more you can say about it. Like the emissions aren't a problem because it's fully geothermal energy, geothermal power. Um, and you could actually just power this honestly forever. I'm not really sure how many watts it is. I don't really have any of the details, but definitely something to look for for the future. I look to more innovations like this, maybe in other countries that can also tap the geothermal power. Obviously, we're not going to do it at Yellowstone because that's a national park and people don't want a bunch of Bitcoin mines when they go to Yellowstone National Park. But El Salvador tapping that earth power, that geothermal power to mine Bitcoin. So hope you like this segment. Let me know what you think about this. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.